Thank you for this opportunity to present our uh, long-term outcomes of uh, tea tree, bilateral tea tree sympathectomy in a pediatric population in our experience at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. So Palmer hyperhidrosis is a relatively common condition that um, tends to arise in childhood or adolescence and persist throughout life. The therapeutic options at our disposition are um, topical agents, iontophoresis, and Bodox injections, prime, uh, considered first line, and then the second line is systemic therapy. And as third line, there is surgery where uh, the, the sympathetic chain is mechanically disrupted. Our group, among others, have previously demonstrated that uh, thoracoscopic bilateral T3 sympathectomy is safe and efficacious in the pediatric population um, with little complications and few, uh, I mean, little compensatory hyperhidrosis, at least in the short term. We aimed to um, assess the long-term outcomes of this procedure in our experience, and so we did conducted a retrospective review. And although many, I mean, many different techniques for uh, this procedure have been described, we adopted a T3-level sympathectomy using electrocautery um, and extending the burn for a distance of six to seven centimeters along the rib, trying to also cauterize bypassing nerve branches. Our data was, uh, came from medical records as well as a questionnaire uh, that specifically investigated the quality of life overall, as well as the impact of palmar hyperhidrosis on uh, social and functional, uh, functional spheres of their, uh, the patient's lives, as well as the interaction with others in stressful situations. We then fused these scores into a composite score, which uh, we will report. The patients were presented with this questionnaire preoperatively and at every visit postoperatively. And in addition, we conducted a telephone survey to get the most uh, up-to-date information. Here we um, contrast our long-term data to previously reported uh, short-term uh, data. We included 58 patients, of which the majority were female, and uh, had a median age at surgery of uh, 15 years. We observed perfect resolution of palmar hyperhidrosis immediately after the surgery and encountered no uh, post-op complications with all patients discharged within 24 hours. In our longer-term study, 91% uh, of patients had a, a follow-up available with a median duration of 2.5 years, uh, ranging from one week to seven and a half years. As you can see, uh, the, the rates of compensatory hyperhidrosis were higher in our long-term uh, study with 17% of patients um, diagnosed. And so we defined compensatory hyperhidrosis as excessive sweating at a new location requiring medical or topical um, th uh, therapy at least um, to, to, to obtain uh, symptom control. And then two patients had a recurrence. One of them had a re redo uh, sympathectomy at the T3 and T4 level. And the other one is still under medical therapy but is expected to undergo a redo sympathectomy as well. And then two other patients indicated that they would not opt to uh, undergo the surgery again if they had to make a, a new a, the decision again. One because of extreme dryness at the hands and the other because of excessive uh, compensatory sweating. This graph uh, depicts the composite quality of life score over time. And as you can see, there's a significant improvement brought about by the surgery. Uh, and the quality of life actually remains uh, better at every time point uh, after this, uh, of follow-up. So this led us to conclude that in our experience, bilateral thoracoscopic T3 sympathectomy is safe and effective in a pediatric population on the long term. Although recurrence and compensatory hyperhidrosis occurred that we could not in initially um, detect, and the improvement of quality of life uh, brought about by the surgery tends to persist over time. Thank you very much, and I'd be happy to answer some questions. Um, did all of your patients undergo medical therapy or Botox therapy prior to being referred to surgery? Yes, absolutely. So there was a strict regimen of patient selection, and so they were all they all went on medical therapy first, and then uh, they also saw a, saw a psychologist prior to the um, to the surgery to really identify the patients who who needed. Uh, Excellent. Most. 
Has this been um, being performed more frequently over the past you know, 10 years? Is this done at other centers? I, I've not seen a lot of it. Um, that's a good question. I, I, I would not be able to, uh, to, give, to answer that question. Um, yeah, no. Okay. I, I do know that there's a lot of referrals to Trump mm -hmm. yeah. since we've published the first uh, paper, um, publishing the short-term outcomes. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Great. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you.